Many folks know that you can type messages to Gemini, but not many know that you can actually talk to Gemini as well. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, open the microphone so you can talk to Gemini, and then Gemini's going to explain to me how to drive this car. Let's go. Hello there. Welcome to the driver's seat of the amazing Formula E Gen 3 and R Factor 2. I'll be your instructor today. The, the model understands a lot about the game, the controls of the game, and a little bit about Formula E and can give you some history about it. Uh, how do I drive the car? All right, let's get you moving. I have a gamepad, so what are the controls for the gamepad? Of course, the right trigger will be your throttle, and the left trigger is your brake. And the way we've kind of built it is uh, using like a framework. So you could take an application like this or a game and then you can pass in the audio and the video input and then give it to Gemini uh, streaming through the live API and it's able to respond to you and talk to you and give you output. Uh, where am I by the way? That looks like you're racing at the Berlin E3 track. And the model itself is also able to do things like function calls. So it could help by like toggling driver assist. Can you tell me how fast I'm driving? According to the speedometer in the HUD, you're currently traveling at 95 kilometers per hour. How else can I help? No, that's super useful, thank you. And we built this on top of an application called the Live API Web Console, which is basically a, uh, it's like a framework, a boilerplate for building applications. So if you're interested, you can go to AI Studio and you can try the Live API and you can talk to Gemini. Um, and if you want to build something, you can use the Live API web console and download that and build that and run that on your own application itself.